Hi everybody, I'm Matt McMurray from Camus Automotive in Blacksburg, Virginia. And today, what I brought out was kind of the breadth of Nitto's tire lineup for light trucks. Now this is most of their lineup. This is not every tire in their light truck lineup, but we'll talk a little bit about that a little bit later. So this is the Nitto Nomad Grappler, the Nitto Recon Grappler AT, the Nitto Terra Grappler G2, the Nitto Ridge Grappler, and the Nitto Trail Grappler MT. So you'll notice here that there are a couple tires missing from the lineup that I have here today, mostly due because of supply constraints that are going on right now. Those two tires are the Exo Grappler, which is a, like a commercial uh, tire that slots in between the Ridge Grappler and the Trail Grappler. And then the Mud Grappler, which is one above the Trail Grappler as far as aggressiveness. We don't have that. And we don't have a Dura Grappler, which is the highway all season tire. But these tires here are the main tires that Nitto sells. So going from this side, the right side, my right side first, we have the Nitto Nomad Grappler. Then we have the Nitto Recon Grappler AT, which is new. Both of these tires are new. The Nitto Terra Grappler G2, which is their older tire. I look for it to be redesigned soon. Then we have the Nitto Ridge Grappler. And then finally, the Nitto Trail Grappler. So going from least aggressive to aggressive, this is kind of the, the heart of their lineup. So I wanted to line them all up together so that you could get a good idea of what they all look like and how they differ as you move up in aggressiveness. The cool thing about Nitto is they have a tire for just about every season and for every kind of service that you can imagine. For example, the Nomad Grappler would good, be good for SUVs that you don't need a very aggressive tire for, but you do need, you know, some all season traction and the nice look of a all-terrain tire. Then a little bit more aggressive is the Recon Grappler AT. Now this tire is going to give you a little more traction off-road and a little more traction in snowy and icy conditions. And then the Terra Grappler G2, of course, this is the oldest model of the five but that's going to give you more siping. It's going to give you larger tread blocks with wider grooves, more traction off-road. We see a lot of these on uh, lifted trucks, but we're starting to see these other tires kind of get on those trucks too. Next one is the Ridge Grappler, which is their hybrid tire. And you can see how it's designed, more aggressive than the G2, but not aggressive as the Trail Grappler or the Mud Grappler, but still fairly aggressive available in all kinds of sizes for all kinds of custom fitments to really look good on those lifted trucks and basically three quarter ton trucks and one ton trucks that haul a lot but still want an aggressive design the trail grappler that's going to be for your jeeps and your lifted trucks that need that extra traction off-road huge tread blocks huge tread grooves basically for mud sand you know deep kind of uh, snow, different things that, that require a lot of traction and require the tread to clean itself out as you spin. So I just wanted to make a quick video talking about that because they have the whole breadth of light truck tires covered from one end to another. And they're almost making new categories for uh, light truck tires. For instance, the hybrid tire category, the only tire that was even considered a hybrid was a Goodyear Duratrack and it was just like a real aggressive all-terrain tire. So then uh, this tire came along the Ridge Grappler and you started to see more and more hybrid tires come along because there was a void between the AT tires and the MT and trail tires that they wanted the look of that, that trail tire and that mud tire, but also be able to have on-road feel and be able to tow and haul and all the things you do with your truck when you're not off-road. Same thing on this end of the spectrum. You know, you've got your light truck tire, you know you're not gonna do a lot of off-roading, but you still want the aggressive look of a nice tire, maybe on a stock Toyota 4Runner, maybe on a Toyota Tacoma TRD Sport, something that you want the look, but you don't really need the aggressiveness because you're really not ever gonna go off-road with it. And then just one step up from that, one extra step in between a true AT and a light duty AT is what I would consider it. So basically, if you compare these to other brands of tires, like this G2 would be similar to a BF Goodrich KO2. And 
The Nomad Grappler would be closer to like the trail terrain, the new tire that they came out with. That's not really, it's more for on-road use and less for off-road use. So they're just different kinds. All, can, all the spectrums are covered with this Nitto tire brand. And that's what's great because you can, you can get whatever you need for your application, your truck, your SUV, your Jeep, whatever you have, you can get exactly what you need that's gonna perform exactly how you want it. And really, you have to think about that when you're purchasing a tire because if you're a guy that spends a lot of time on the highway, you're not gonna to wanna to get a trail grappler. Even though you love the way it looks, you're not gonna to wanna to get it because the noise and the vibration and the harshness of this tire is just too much for full-time, you know, on-road kind of deals. It doesn't handle as good, doesn't stop as good. You know, wet traction's not as good. So there's a lot of, a lot of downfalls uh, to a mud tire or a true trail tire. And if you split the difference a little bit and you say, okay, well, I don't really want an AT2 because they're not aggressive enough. You can get this hybrid tire and it'll kind of fill that void and you can get that tire, run your miles on the highway, tow your trailer, be stable, still have the aggressive look, still go off road in the sand and the mud if you need to. So that's what's really awesome about this whole tire lineup. So I really like the fact that you can customize and get a custom set of tires specifically for your truck and specifically for your application. Out of these five tires, I think my favorite two tires are this new Recon Grappler AT and the Ridge Grappler. So if I had to put a set on my Ram, I would probably try to get the Recon Grappler AT if it's available, but I could also get the Ridge Grappler. So those would probably be the two that I would choose out of this whole group. I do look for this Terra Grappler G2 to be updated as soon. It's the oldest tire with the oldest tread design in the Nitto tire lineup. So I look for an update really soon. So we'll see what happens. The tires that aren't pictured, um, they're not as popular as this group of tires, uh, but the Dura Grappler, that's gonna be for your commercial use and your highway all season kind of use for like a full size van, like a Chevrolet Express or a Ford Econoline. And then all the way on the other side, the Mud Grappler is super aggressive, even more aggressive than this Trail Grappler. The Exo Grappler, I'm not sure what's gonna happen with it. It's kind of in between the Ridge Grappler and the Trail Grappler, but it's more for commercial grade applications and it has more siping in it. Sadly, I don't have an example to show because of supply constraints, but that gives you an idea of just how impressive uh, the breadth of uh, coverage is for Nitto tire. So I've already gone in depth on every one of these tires in other videos. So if you wanna go back and check out in-depth reviews and look at me take deep dives into these tires, go back and check out these old videos. But I just wanted to just lay them out here so that you could see them all. So if you have any questions about these tires or you wanna see a comparison between these tires with another brand, or if there's one in particular that you have a question about, drop them in the comments below. If you wanna see me compare two of these tires to a, two more tires from another brand, drop them in the comments below. We'll try to do that. If there's anything else that you have for me, I'd love to answer any questions or any comments that you may have. So the bottom line is they have the whole gamut of truck tires covered. So when you find your specific application, you figure out what you need, you figure out what you do the most, and you buy the tire based on what you do the most. So you can make a good decision on which tire you need. So if you wanna see any of these tires in depth with close up reviews, check out these videos over here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a nice day.